The Last Supper. DJ Trev's on in the Queen Vic. We take speed and dance to Star Wars slash Party Hard and Hard House next to a girl in a Bolton goth donk t-shirt, a pentagram of the blackout crew on her chest. We're bouncing along nicely on a March Sunday, the last day of the last rave of this century. The wonk has started, a subtle knife between the music and the psilocybin kicking in. Henge is playing in the main room, and my friends are setting themselves up like space invaders, three quarters of the way back, waiting to attack the front left. We're about to smash into a fever, float on sound waves between clattering tracks, and there are creatures on stage giving us black lace, demanding the means to unite and colonise space, lead singer a plasma orb strapped to his head, a shaman of synth and glow sticks. The smaller we are, the harder we fly. Up into the steam of sweat, then between the chalets, you should have seen Saturday night. Taps on sliding windows, men with lightsabers, and lists of out for cash. Slid from palm to bra to keys to nose. This old holiday resort is a trip. I came here with my friend's family at 11 and rang Sam up at four in the morning to tell her. The Bookfast, the front lawn swamp where people float in the day when the beach is less than a mile away. I'm trying to conjure it here, in the Ice Age. Waiting for a vaccine to cut through, listening to Luke Vibert on Spotify, dreaming through cocktails in my kitchen of getting out of my head with all of you. And a decent sound system. I wonder if I will ever see the fairy rings of friends jammed between penny machines and teddy grabbers the same way again. Creating spells that let people out. Let themselves be caught like kisses. The glitter, the tank tops, cutting off each other's dreadlocks. I need it back. Friends, beat and dark.